Hello, good people of YouTube. Um, so we're gonna have a look inside the Epiphone slash Les Paul Special 2. Um, we're gonna have a look at inside the pickup cavities and I'm gonna go into the reverse and see what all the electrics look like too. Because um, this also has its rather fun gimmick, which is to um, be basically like a tuner as well, which is just hidden here. It's got a, a, a button there you can press and it will do the tuning for you. Um, so we'll take all this off and we'll have a look inside to see what they look like because these are the zebra coils which are quite different from the custom pro buckets which you find on the more expensive slash model but these in fact are somewhat hotter than those they are you know that's a much more warm sounding guitar than this this has got much more of that kind of um, raucous loud gritty uh, noise that you find um, so let's have a look. So I will grab you over here. So I've got you static there at the moment. I'm going to grab you over here. Right, because it's actually pretty well held in. So let's have a look. So inside there, oof, the wiring is tight to say the very least. It's actually very, very clean in there. And they said that looks very nice. So um, as you would expect, there's no sort of maple cap in there or anything. The wood in here is Okami, which is what is quoted on the website. And if I, I'm trying to pull that up um, without ripping anything. So it does say, if I can get you in there. All right, that's upside down. But CPS NHZCN hyphen two. Ooh, 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 exciting. So um, that's what it says on the pickup. I can just about think I can see that it says, yeah, it does say, and I apologize for this, because it's, here we go, I will flip you. There we are. So you can see that it just says Epiphone as well. Uh, it seems to say Epiphone USA, yeah, it does. Epiphone USA engraved on the back. So that's the neck pickup. We'll also have a quick gander while we're here in the bridge pickup and this is easier said than done with one hand but hey i'll give it a go i'm an industrious person as i'm sure many of you are and it's good fun so let's have a good look and i wouldn't recommend doing this one-handed normally because um, you could easily ruin something especially that lovely finish which is a rather nice finish i will add um, and i'm going to try and do this without too much force and breaking something so i thought it'd be interesting to have a look in here since also there's um just recently the greenie les paul has been released kirk hammett's greenie um there's lots of controversy surrounding that one i watched the um the promotional video on it and initially i was thinking wow that looks like a pretty cool guitar um you know kirk hammett he's a very friendly personable kind of dude that's how he comes across and i thought well He's talking about bringing up the new generation of guitarists and inspiring people and that sort of stuff. And this has got kind of a similar um, finish to that. It's kind of that lemon drop. Obviously, this is not road worn or anything like that. Hasn't been to Murphy Lab. Um, uh, I mean, clearly not at this sort of price level. Um, but I did think to myself, oh, well, maybe that's an approachable kind of guitar. Maybe that's not too expensive. Um, you know, if you do have a look, though, uh, at, the, at the bottom of it, I would mention as well the Gibson marketing team. Well, well done, by the way, because the link actually doesn't work. There's no link in the um, description of that when I looked, which is a bit sad. So I went onto Google, looked for it. And uh, yeah, it's $20,000 a piece. So um, it ain't cheap. It ain't coming this way anyway, anytime soon. But they do apparently have a core model coming out which is in the region, well, I'm guessing it should be, excuse me, that was a screwdriver. Um, that should be in the region of about $6,000. Oh, if one is to guess. Now, interesting. So that's the, that's the, um, that's the bridge pickup. Difficult to see any writing on it. Um, I can just about making, make out the edge of the engraving on there, which would be again, Epiphone USA. And this is the, um, this looks like the power bank, I would say, that's going to the, um, but it's just literally sellotaped on. There's not an awful lot uh, sticking that together. So probably need to be a bit careful. You can see all the wires going through. Again, the actual pickup cavity looks very clean in there. Very clean. Again, it's just the maple veneer. Um, so there's no, 
uh, maple cap in there, but it does look very clean. There's no shielding per se, but I don't think it's not too important. There's no, there's really, this, this is not a noisy guitar. And that's the top, that's the Zebra pickup uh, top with the, with the tuner on it, which is, um, you know, it's functional, it works. It's quite a nice little gadget that, um, but I'm gonna try and be very delicate with this and just try to stick it back. There we go, sticking that back. There we are, and it's back in. So um, I will also, let's have a look um, at the rear of the guitar and go into the back cavity. So I've taken the liberty of flipping the guitar over. Um, and I've put the screws back and everything. And um, I've taken the screws out of the back and here we go. This is what's inside. So this, interestingly, is the, um, uh, the battery compartment for the electronic tuner. So it's actually quite nicely wired up. Um, it takes a very um, small kind of watch battery in there. And inside, again, we have some relatively neat wiring. Again, no shielding, um, but it is very tidy in there. And these are, as far as I can make out, these are full fat pots uh, for the tone control and the volume knob which is pretty brilliant um, because this is, it's not a super expensive guitar. Um, it's kind of, um, you know, it's, it's a cheapish guitar, but it's not super, super cheap. It is more expensive than a normal Les Paul Special 2. Um, having said that, it is um, a superior guitar to the Les Paul Special 2, as you can see in my various reviews. I'll try and link to those too. Um, but this is a much better guitar than the, than the just standard Les Paul Special 2. This um, definitely exceeds it in a lot of ways. That guitar did also have full fat pots, um, but uh, I, also, I would definitely expect to see them in here. But that's great. It's definitely um, uh, a good quality um, arrangement in here. And yeah, that is a really, really nice. So there you go. And um, the one thing I did want to touch on as well, lastly, um, before I leave you, is the um, just to have a quick look at the um, the the stop tail bridge and tailpiece, you can see that that actually all it says is um, just generically Epiphone on there. So um, yeah, I mean it's 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 okay quality. This um, it definitely does the job. I've not had any problems with the intonation um, or uh, heightening or lowering the action using all of this. It's actually these work very nicely indeed. And um, the actual tailpiece itself is pretty good as well. Although I do feel like I might replace some of this. As you can see on the tailpiece, I have been top wrapping this guitar. Um, and you might be able to just see that the, the metal is, is, looks like it's pretty soft stuff. So you can see tiny, tiny little notches there that have been made by the strings. Um, so I might so that I mean that that implies to me that this is really pretty soft metal because um, I'm not really that brutal with the guitar. I mean I, I'm I'm pretty careful with my gear. So I might very well go and upgrade this at some point. Um, at the moment it's absolutely fine. It works. It does the job for me. Um, but yeah, it's something to note. It's probably quite a soft metal that this is made from. Um, so there you go, that is inside the Les Paul Special 2 and um, it's a rather nice guitar and um, certainly one I'd recommend. So uh, there you go, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one, bye.